Hello there, viewers, and welcome to Ranch Simulator. I'm hoping... Oh, Van. Van, what are you doing? I'm hoping to get a cheap shot. On to you. There we go. That is awesome. How is everybody doing today? Right, you can stay there. I normally actually don't hunt the stags or does because they're just too quick. So I normally hunt the bears and the wolves. But he was there in a sticky situation. So you know what? I'm not passing up the opportunity. And now I'm at the... Actually, wait a moment. What is this place called? The place up the yonder is the general store. Is this class? Yeah, it is. There you go. The hardware store. Right. So I would like to actually dip my toes into something this episode. And I would like to try something else out and get used to it. I don't know how well it's going to actually work, but hopefully it does actually work. So, I need metal plates, and concrete, and glass, and I need one more, actually two more things. I need a cooler, and a, where is it, oil barrel. So that is you. There we go. These are all the headers for the actual harvester. And we've got a cultivator, cedar, fertilizer, trailer. Okay. All right. Fair dues. I wonder where you get the... Just about to ask, where do I get the vehicles from? Of course, the vehicle shop. So, of course, by looking at the car, you know that I'm actually going to get into the oil today. And something else, what needs glass? That's not going to be enough glass to finish the project, but it's going to be a good start. So, actually, wait a sec, I need to buy. Just had a thought. Right, where are you? I did see you looking for another jerry can. There we go. That will do. So, let's go to checkout. And there we go. Hardware store. Sorted. So, basically... Oh. I... Oh. <gasps> Bear. <laughs> Bear, bear, bear. Hello, bear. Come here, bear. That's one, two, three, four. There you go. That is fantastic. So that means that I can actually harvest the actual deer. Actually, it was a stag, wasn't it? And now the bear. Of course, you can't do anything with wild meat. So you just make sure you collect it and sell it straight away. It's actually a shame that you can't actually do anything to wild meat. It would have been nice to actually at least do something with it. So it isn't just one product. It's great that it's in the game, but it would be nice if actually hold more of a purpose than just wild meat that's it make something out of it like wild meat stew probably gives you a little bit more health or it actually sells better than just the meat itself just 
little suggestions here and there I'll say in videos. I'm not actually demanding stuff, it's just to actually uh, help out the uh, dev, really, to be honest. Suggestions, even though it doesn't seem like the dev does need help, because, tell you sorry, from how I played the game last time and now playing it, it runs smoother, it's in a different engine, and it looks good as well. And there is a ton of stuff as well. And that is awesome. AI, it makes the actual map feel better, really. Instead of just driving on empty roads, I'm actually have to be wary of my surroundings and be careful of, well, the AI. There's uh, different animals as well. Everything's had an overall, and it's awesome. Right, can I... Why can't I put you there? Oh, put you on to the basket. That's fine. I won't be moving the basket anyway. I've only got like eight eggs. But it's just enough to just make a little bit of money. Not much. And can I rotate to fit you on there? There we go. And got to get the jerry can. It'll be nice to actually be able to carry two things at the same time, depending on what they are. Because you could probably turn around and say, right, I'll hold a jerry can in one hand, and then my other hand can carry probably the basket or something smaller. There we go. Everything is now on board. Right, let's go and get that stag. Lovely jubbly. So, pick up you. And let's go ahead. Harvest you. And three meats. That is awesome. I did a video a while back in my season one where I actually did calculate how many bullets animals take to, you know, RIP. And it seems like that has actually changed. The does now take one bullet, and the stags take two bullets. The bears, four bullets. And I do believe the wolf is bullets as well just trying to think whereabouts is the gas station it is behind me okay goes up this way I need to fill up both of the jerry cans one of the jerry cans is going to be for the farm and the other is going to be for general use. And I do believe I need to learn how to drive. Right, that's a ranch there. Is it? Yeah, it is. Shall we go and have a pizza, shall we? You know what? Sure. Why not? Let's have a pizza. Oh, can I get through here? It looks nice, gotta admit. I still have to be careful because this is still there. Oh, hello. Stop me speaking there, Staggy Waggy. But yeah, this is bad territory. Still. And there is a person here. Hello there. Now, cleaning. That oh, stack, I thought it was a bear then charging in. I'm like, can I just carry on? 
due to my age, I basically can't clean up, but can you get rid of the trash for me as well as the windmill? Except. Quick an easy pass. So let's get rid of the trash. There we go. That is perfect. You get rid of you, get rid of you. Awesome. And still some more. You, you, and you. There we go. All the trash done. Hello, chickens. How are you doing? So let's get rid of you. So that is that. You and then let's go from the roof downwards. It would be nice if you can actually turn around and say in the options to swing or not to swing. Because to actually be honest, you could probably do this quicker if the character wasn't swinging all the time. So it would be nice to actually have that option available so you can actually stick with the game's defaults and allow the character to swing or to just save time not to swing so there we go that is that and stack is still there yeah no bears that's actually unfortunate it would be nice to actually have a little bit more meat. And let's go and talk to this lovely person. And cleaning is complete. 300. Awesome. So, annoying foxes. Okay then. The actual foxes got to the chickens and I just need to get rid of the foxes. So, let's get the gun out. Um, let's go over here then. And this is actually one of the new creatures. They do actually spawn in uh, the wild as well. So this is kind of like, oh my god. Sit. Yeah, I'm not very good at uh, this gun stuff, clearly. That is that one. And I need one more. It's actually hard to actually aim the pistol because you've got to get this dark precise and his foxes are definitely squee whiffy. Are you Hunting? No, you're running away. Oh, no. That's me. In the wilderness now. Great. Stop, stop, stop. Got ya. That's good. Fantastic. Right. Let's go and get the caller. The one shot for them. Not bad. Not bad. Pumpkins over there. So, where is my vehicle? Oh, there it is. And um, the caller. So, let's get you. And um, you. Brilliant. One, two. Nice. And let's go and get the other one. I don't know if I go and accept the actual reward, it will actually get rid of the bodies. So I'm just going to actually harvest this now. There we go. One and two. Brilliant. So there. The actual movements of the actual deers, it's good because they run a bit and then they stand still for a bit and yeah i'm out of range unfortunately let's go ahead get this lot 
into the cart and general store. No, gas station. Let's go and talk to you. I've dealt with the foxes. There we go. 200. Not bad. I gained 500 just by curiosity. Awesome. Fuel station is now done, and I love how my shadow of my character is on the road and not the vehicle shadow. That's amazing. So, actually, I want to touch you quickly going to the castle, but I need to actually go to Best Burger. And where is that exactly? To my left. Right. Oh, come on. Yeah, nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Come on. Lipperoony. There we Oh, goodness me. Come on. And. Job's a good one. Job's not a good one. How the heck did you flip then? Darn it. Right, there we go. Right, let's get going, shall we? So, if I remember correctly, I don't have to get the meat out or do anything. I just need to park there, and that's it. Oh, look at that! Wild meat! What was that? I just heard a snore. I don't know exactly 100% where the bears are, but from recollection, I am near one. I know there's one near the hardware store up here, and there's some around here. Not everything's actually marked on the map. It'll be nice to actually eventually have hunting spots as in when you look at the map you'll actually see where animals can actually spawn because i do know there is a hunting rifle and huntsman we have to actually talk to and help to actually get the rifle if that is still the same thing So you could have hunting spots. You've got a watchtower out in the wilderness. I don't know if it's a ranger's tower or a hunter's tower. And yeah, looks to be all clear. Right. I just heard a grunt and I'm like, right. Get my gun out ready. Be fully prepared for anything. Brilliant. So, right, I need to sell my uh, goods. And I actually got a good multiplier as well. And wild meat, so that's going to be good. So, wild meat, 21, not bad. Only eight eggs, but you know what? 405, that's not bad. And I'm back up to where I was after buying everything. Goodness me, I actually like episodes like this. Nice and easy and chilled out episode. Not doing anything too strenuous, just... Yeah, easy. Laid back episode, really. Get me back into things. Learn the game all over again. Still got some mechanics for, uh, from... Uh, well, before the actual uh, Unreal Engine. Right, I'm here because I would like to check on the vehicles. Alright, let's have a look, shall we? So I can carry... Stag. I can carry two pigs, two goats. 
three pigs, a cow, and a goat. Two goats. Nothing for you. Same again as the actual SUV while the pickup. And the truck, four for everything. That's basically for roaming, hunting, really, because you can actually put a ton of callers on top there. And SUV, same thing again. And the tractor. That is 1,200. And the harvester, 2,000. Wow, that is a lot of money. I'm not going to get into uh, the farming straight away. But I need to go to the general store now. And I do believe it's straight on. No, it's behind. Lucky I checked. Right, so, general store. I'm on the way there. Yeah! Foxes do hunt the actual deers. That is actually awesome. I love to see that in games. Where you actually see wild creatures attacking other wild creatures. Instead of them just hustling up close together and you're like, shouldn't they be running after each other? So I need to actually stop here. This is the actual... Get my toes in to project. And that is, of course, the oil. So, I need to go into you. And I need to build the drill rig. There we go. You only can fit one drill rig on at a time. So, let's place you. There we go. Let's go and get the resources. 20 metal, 20 concrete. So hopefully I did the calculations beforehand and they were correct. Even though I was buying multiple, it still would be nice to actually have the concrete sacks as 20 instead of five each it'll be nice for the system to go all oh, right you've bought multiple of this so i'll put them multiples into one stack so you don't have to carry as much same with the metal plates the only reason why i'm putting that as a suggestion is because you can actually get bigger concrete as well as metal plates, so it shouldn't be that difficult to actually get the machine to calculate stuff. So all what I have to actually do is I do believe fuel this up. So the top icon is fuel. And the bottom icon is oil. So this can hold a thousand oil and 50 fuel. Jerry can is 40. So, leave you there. Turn you on. And that's it. It is just time now. I need the barrel can actually tell the barrel can only hold 50 and there's a thousand coming out of this so I'll need a ton of barrels right so general store time I need to look at a few things so let's go into here I need a bag of wheat and make that two bullets as well let's have a 
quick gander at this lot. So I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seeds. And three normal seeds. Because I guess these are different to this lot. I've got a composter. Okay. Fertilizer. And a cultural medicine. Is that... I can't quite actually read that. But that's control. I guess insect control? Okay. I do believe these three here can only go into the fields. Whereas this lot can go into the greenhouses. I guess I can actually there's tomatoes there, so there's eight. Okay then. Eight packs of seeds. I guess I need the composter as well, because this is the second thing I wanted to get into this episode, but unfortunately I've actually run out of time. But it's actually nice to actually have a look at. I could probably get into the bees. Maybe. Because that's actually quite cheap as well. With the money what I've got, I can actually get into animals more. And these have all had changes done to them. I actually like how he's actually made sure that every single animal looks different that's awesome last time it was just color change but now it's kind of like patterns actually how the model is shaped as well the head looks different and i reckon that's it for now I know what I'm actually getting into here. But hopefully in the next episode, I can probably start thinking about getting into the greenhouse. So let's go ahead and get two of you. And two of you. There you go. Check out. Perfect. Brilliant. So you know what? I'm going to actually end the episode here. I've still got a lot of work to do on the ranch. And a lot of prepping as well to do. So hopefully in the next episode, like I said, I'll be getting into the greenhouse. For this episode, it was basically oil. Alright, so... This is, of course, the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. And please do consider supporting this channel out by liking and subscribing, commenting down below. And I don't mind you sharing out my content, neither. And remember, as always, appreciate you all. And you'll see me in the next one. Bye.